The star pitcher, the star hitter, the superstar baseball player. Otani obliterated! That man is just built different! Shohei Otani has the entire MLB in a chokehold, and it's not even up for debate. Not only has he redefined what's possible in baseball with his unreal 50-50 season, but he's also made baseball cool again, something it hasn't been for a long time. But what if there's a tiny chance that not everything is as clean as it seems? Before we dive into the juicy details, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're into the biggest baseball stories, controversies, and all things baseball. Trust me, you don't want to miss what we've got coming up. I know, I know, this sounds like baseball blasphemy, but stick with me. I'm not saying Otani isn't the real deal. He absolutely is. But when you're as untouchable as he's been, controversy seems to follow. Remember the $16 million that vanished from his account to pay off his interpreter's debt? That was a mess. And now there's a fresh rumor swirling that's even juicier. Word on the street is that Otani's historic 50-50 season might have gotten a little extra help. And today, we're unpacking it all. Let's be clear. This isn't about trashing Otani or downplaying his greatness. But when there are whispers about MLB pulling strings behind the scenes, we can't turn a blind eye. See, back in 2022, MLB came under fire for allegedly using juice balls when Aaron Judge broke the single season home run record. A scientist study found three different types of balls in circulation, the juiced ball, the dead ball, and the Goldilocks ball, which was just right. If you're enjoying this breakdown, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We cover the biggest scandals and mysteries in baseball. And trust me, this story is just getting started. Turns out, some players were getting a little extra help from these livelier balls. And no matter how you slice it, that's basically cheating. But here's where it gets interesting, because two years later, history might have repeated itself with Shohei Otani. The night Otani hit his 50th home run. 1-2, Otani sends one in the air. Something strange happened. The ball that fan caught, it was already pre-authenticated. Now, MLB uses authenticators at every game to verify important game items, but typically, the ball has to be authenticated on the spot. But according to Craig Mish of the Miami Herald, the fan didn't need to get it authenticated because it was a special pre-authenticated ball. And let's be real, special ball might as well be code for juiced. It wouldn't be the first time either. Remember Aaron Judge's 62nd home run? People accused MLB of switching in juice balls then too. And if they did it once, what's stopping them from doing it again? No one's saying Otani is in on it. He's not the one pulling the strings here. But if the MLB did rig it, you have to wonder why. Maybe the league wanted to inject some excitement into the season, grab some headlines and bring baseball back into the spotlight, just like they did during the steroid era. But that raises a bigger question. If the MLB is willing to tweak the rules for a superstar like Otani, how many other games might have been rigged without anyone noticing? If you've made it this far, drop a like and subscribe. We've got more deep dives and baseball drama coming your way, and you won't want to miss out.